Beginning tomorrow, thousands of Detroit City retirees will see their monthly pension checks cut by nearly 5%. It was part of the concessions agreed to by retirees in order to avoid steeper cuts during the city's bankruptcy proceedings. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park tells us those cuts are going to be a harsh reality for some. Don Smith says he's dedicated his whole working life to his city, working in various departments over 29 years. Today, Don lives on a shoestring, though. I got to buy food, I have to go to the doctors, my medicine, I have to keep that. His monthly pension checks barely enough to cover all that. Don says he's already paying more for less coverage with his new health plan, but starting Sunday, he'll have to figure out how to stretch those dollars further. Retirees who worked in general city departments will see a 4.5% cut to their monthly checks. They can fix the lights. They can tear down houses. How can you do all these things and you can't pay my pension? Don says he's bitter about the accolades Governor Snyder and emergency manager Kevin Orr got after pushing Detroit out of bankruptcy. He saved it at our expense. He and his fellow retirees are paying the price, he says. The city is offering help for retirees on fixed incomes through its income stabilization fund. Don says he applied for that and hasn't heard back. He figures with this latest cut, he'll be qualified for some welfare programs. But Don says that's not how he envisioned life after his service. I worked all my life. I don't want no handouts. I just want what I earned. 